everyone, you've been learning about pictographs. Now pictographs show data using pictures on a chart like this. And so you might have done a survey or you might have done some observation and recorded how many and you showed your data using pictures. So this is maybe some flowers in a garden. And I, so it would make sense that I use a picture of a flower to show the data. So I can see that there are one, two, three, four, five red flowers in my garden and one, two, three blue flowers in the garden. That is how I read the data on my pictograph. Now you might notice that there's extra boxes in the pictograph. You do not have to worry about any of the extra boxes that go beyond the pictures that come the farthest. All right, so really looking in this area here when we're looking for answering our data questions. Okay, so I have a couple of sentence starters here with some fill in the blanks. So today we're going to be specifically looking at the words more and fewer when we're answering our questions about our data. So here's the word more here and here's the word fewer there. All right, so the first sentence says there are this many more this than that. All right, so this word more is my key word. So I want to figure out, first of all, which one has more, the red or the blue. So we did count them up and we found out the red had five and the blue had three. So there are more red than blue. Okay, now this part here is to tell how many more. And we've talked about how many more before using 10 frames. And this is a bit, this is similar. So there are this many more red than blue. Now, when you read a pictograph, what you'll do is you'll look for the empty spaces to tell you how many more there are. So if we notice the red comes to this line here and that's the one that has the most. So we don't have to worry about these extra boxes. We're looking just up to here and we can see that there are two empty spots. So that means there are two more red than blue and we can see them right there in the pictograph. Now, moving on to my next question, that uses the word fewer. So now I'm looking to see which one has fewer. Fewer means less. So I know that it's going to be blue. So there's fewer blue than red. Okay, and this space here is for how many fewer? How many fewer? So red comes to here, that one has more, and then fewer is here as well. So these empty spots are really your key to answering how many more, how many fewer. So we can see that there are two fewer blue than red. All right, so I'll do another example. And I'll use bigger numbers this time. So I'll change the flowers in my garden a little bit. So I'm going to put another red one there. These are getting a bit messy, but do them quickly. All right, here we go. So now I've changed my pictograph. I've put more flowers in. So there are how many more this color than that color? So again, I'm looking at that word more and I, I can see that it's the blue. So I know that there are, and then so if we count them up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine blue, which I can see is more, and then one, two, three, four, five, six red. So there are this many more blue than red this time. How many more blue? Well, I'm gonna look at my pictograph and I'm going to notice that there's three more. And again, I'm not looking at the extra boxes, just looking to see where the farthest one ends. So I can see these three empty spaces above the blue. That means there are three more blue than red. Okay, and then when I fill out my fewer, I know this time there's fewer red than blue. 
How many fewer? Again, I'm going to look at those empty spaces. So blue comes to here and one, two, three fewer red than blue. All right, so looking for those blank spots in your pictograph to help you with how many more, how many fewer. All right, and we'll talk more about pictographs and some other information that you can read next time. But today, you're going to be focusing on how many more, how many fewer, remembering that fewer means less. So have fun reading your pictographs today, everyone.